My name is uh, Leslie Kleinman. I was born in Romania in the Carpathian Mountains. My birthday comes on 29th of May, and at the same time as yours. That's where we arrived in Auschwitz. And um, the train journey, this I have to say to you, that, that was uh, disgusting. They pushed in 110, 700 into one wagon, and they only gave us one bucket in the smell. Oh. Well, Leslie is a survivor from Auschwitz, mainly, um, and he um, survived by being very positive, and his hope kept him alive, and he felt that um, all, all the time that he was in the camps, that God was walking with him and holding on to him. I went to the Dr. Mengele, and he passed me. And then he told me to go and get a number, and my number is actually 8230 in Gematria in Hebrew letters, it means love. He has no hatred for anyone, which is an amazing thing in a human being that went through such hell. My mum's been doing a series of sculpting Holocaust survivors. She feels that it's really helping towards um, preserving the history of the Holocaust and the knowledge, um, the education. Today is, is a big milestone really in Leslie's life and in mine. I'm so proud of him. Um, that he's come so far and that he's managed to reach the ripe old age of 90. This is just the most incredible way f to mark um, someone's contribution for generations to come. It's just a, a wonderful, wonderful thing Frances is doing. I salute her and think she is quite amazing. The series of Holocaust busts that Frances is now making is a wonderful opportunity to show to the world just what happened because the younger generation today a lot of them many of them still don't know what happened i think it's really important that we educate our children to make sure this doesn't happen again all i can tell you is when i go to schools it's unbelievable you know they listen to every word i say <laughs> my grandmother's a really good artist I think it because she sculpted lots of people and they all like it. I've had so many people um, come up to say that um, they've never been to an event like this and they are so happy they came. It does show his likeness and also the, the strength of what made him survive. On a personal level, being Jewish, obviously it has um, a great meaning for us because Every Jewish person has been affected by this at some point, and not just for Jewish people, but for people all around the world to make sure this doesn't happen again. I'm happy that I'm um, survived. That is what we can tell the people. Always look forward, whatever you do. The horrors that the Jewish people were put through during that period of the war should never happen again. I think it's a good thing that my grandmother's doing all these Holocaust sculptures because it's important for children to know about the Holocaust.